once upon a time, in a tranquil village nestled between lush green hills. There lived two neighbors, Marcus and Olivia. They were known throughout the village for their unwavering friendship and their shared love for the beauty of nature that surrounded them. They often spent their days exploring the nearby forests and meadows, discovering hidden wonders and cherishing the harmony of their friendship. One sunny morning, as the golden rays painted the sky, Marcus and Olivia decided to embark on a journey to the enchanting Silver Creek, a pristine river that flowed gracefully through the heart of the forest this river was renowned for. Its crystal clear waters and the ancient stone bridge that arched elegantly over it. As the friends made their way through the woods, laughter echoed and spirits soared. Yet, as they reached the magnificent Silver Creek, a mild dispute arose. Olivia was sure that the bridge was made of limestone, while Marcus was equally convinced it was constructed from marble. They couldn't reach an agreement and the friendly debate soon escalated into a heated argument. The villagers passing by were surprised to see the best of friends engaged in such a dispute. It was clear that neither of them wanted to back down or admit they might be wrong. The situation quickly became uncomfortable, and the villagers worried that this argument would forever taint the beautiful friendship between Marcus and Olivia. Days passed and the silence between the two friends grew like a shadow. The village felt incomplete without their shared laughter and adventures. Finally, an elderly villager, wise and experienced, decided to intervene. He invited Marcus and Olivia to his humble cottage, where the aroma of freshly brewed tea welcomed them. The elderly man, known as Old Elias, had witnessed many friendships crumble due to pride and stubbornness. He listened attentively to the story of the bridge and the dispute that had put a rift between pay. Friends, with a gentle smile, he recounted a tale from his own youth. In my prime, I had a dearest friend, Julian. We were inseparable, just like the two of you. One day, we too had a disagreement, much like your own. It escalated, just like yours did. Days turned into weeks, and the bridge between us seemed impassable. It was then that I realized the true essence of a friendship. The power of humility. He paused, allowing the weight of his words to sink in. Julian and I were both wrong in that argument. Just as you both are now. The bridge that connects friends should never be blocked by pride. Apologizing and admitting when you're wrong isn't a sign of weakness. It's a testament to the strength of your bond. Marcus and Olivia looked at each other. And in that moment, they recognized the truth in old Elias' words. They embraced, tears of regret and relief flowing freely. Together, they returned to the Silver Creek, hand in hand, and gazed at the bridge, appreciating its beauty anew. From that day forward, Marcus and Olivia lived by the lesson they had learned from old Elias. They cherished their friendship more than ever before. And whenever they found themselves in a disagreement, they were quick to apologize and admit when they were wrong. The bridge of humility that they had built in their hearts was stronger than any stone bridge. And their friendship became an example for the entire village. And so, the village continued to flourish, not only because of the beauty of the Silver Creek and the Stone Bridge but because of the enduring friendship of Marcus and Olivia, who never let their pride block the bridge that connected their hearts.